Hello, today is、uh, Monday, September 2nd, 2024. We are already into September and soon we will have October. October is the most beautiful month in Korea. If you are planning to visit Korea, just come、uh, in October.、Uh, if you need a good tour guide, just contact me. I am a licensed tour guide amateur. I've never done an official tour guide, even though I've done numerous small、uh, scale tour guides for my f-、uh, friends, acquaintances,、uh, foreign friends. So I, I could be a good economical、uh, tour guide for the regional、uh, tour. You just don't stay、uh, in Seoul or Busan, just you know, choose the、uh, Of the,、uh, of the beaten path and、uh, enjoy the real rural or urban、uh, Korean environments and the settings to see if you like them or not.、Uh, speaking of tour, I am interested in visiting China again. I have a valid visa、uh, that is valid until、uh, December. 12th, I think, almost 12th, 15th. So、uh, I have to make a trip to China soon. So I am interested how much a Chinese worker m a k e in China、uh, on a monthly basis. So this article just I pulled, I just chose this article a moment ago. I've never read this article.、Uh, I am going to read this article to practice pronunciation and also to pick up. To memorize、uh, the words, expressions, sentences that I、uh, deemed w- would come in handy、uh, when I interact with people, when I give a f- tour guide,、uh, tour guiding to、uh, foreigners. So here we go. Average, this article is from talentup.io. Average salary in China, Maria v i l l a d r i c h f a r e When looking at the economic landscape of China, understanding the average salary trends is crucial for both job seekers and employers. The average salary in China has been steadily increasing over the years, reflecting the country's rapid economic growth and development. In this article, we will delve into the average salary overview in 2024. Explore regional differences in salaries and cost of living. Examine、uh, common industries and their corresponding salaries. Touch upon the minimum wage regulations and provide a comprehensive analysis of the factors influencing salary trends in China. Stay tuned as we uncover the intricacies of. Average salary trends in China and provide valuable insights for those navigating the job market in this dynamic country. Okay, London, Beijing,、uh, what is that?、Uh, that's the salary comparison. Okay.、Uh, backend developer, London, 457,000. 400, 2 0 0 0 pounds, I guess. Beijing, 2 0 0 0、uh, 2,400 pounds. Front end developer, IT consultant, software engineer in that order. Lower scale, high,、uh, low salary, high salary, 1 euro. Okay, so that's euro. CNY, 7.85 CNY. Base salary in China. That's base salary with a bonus. London cost of living plus rent index,、uh-huh. salary versus cost of living ratio, offer demand, offer demand ratio, inflation, country, population, unemployment country. China, I heard that unemployment,、uh, unemployment rate is so high. Average salary overview in 2024. In 2024, the average salary in China 
has been steadily increasing across various sectors. The average, the average monthly salary in country is around 8,452 CNY Chinese yuan, or approximately $1,330 USD. Hmm. Uh, that's uh, about 269,000. Uh, that's about the same salary. Uh, I think in Korea the salary is about I don't know three thousand dollars. So we are like three times more affluent. Regional differences. China's average salary varies significantly across different regions. Tier one cities like Yixian. Right, Yixian, uh, cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen generally offer the highest salaries due to their economic economic development and high cost of living. On the other hand, Tier Two and Tier Three cities, Anxian, Sanxian city, Sanxian Shi cities may have lower average salaries but also a lower cost of living. For example, the average salary in Shanghai is around 14,000 RMB per month. Wow, that's a lot, right? Um, that's... Uh, uh, well, just about below what you get here. While in cities like Chengdu or Xi'an, it may be closer to 8,000 to 10,000 RMB. Another example is that a software engineer in Beijing might earn around 300,000 RMB per year, while the same position in a smaller city like Chengdu could average around 200,000 RMB annually. Average around, average. Right, average here is a verb, average around, average around. Cost of living. When it comes to the cost of living, major cities tend to have higher expenses for housing, transportation, and daily necessities. This means that even though salaries are higher in these areas, a larger position of income is spent on basic needs. Various industries also exhibit different salary trends across regions. Industries such as finance, technology, and healthcare typically offer higher salaries in major metropolitan areas. On the other hand, the manufacturing and agriculture sectors may have lower average salaries in rural regions. Common industries in China and their average salaries. Various industries contribute to China's economy, economy and offer different salary trend levels. The technology sector in cities like Shenzhen and Hangzhou uh, is booming. This sector is one of the highest paying industries in China, with salaries ranging from 200,000 RMB to 500,000 RMB depending on the role and experience level. Similarly, the finance sector in Shanghai and Beijing offers lucrative opportunities with the bankers, with the bankers and financial analysts earning upwards from 150,000 RMB to 400,000 RMB. Manufacturing and construction jobs typically offer lower salaries, averaging between 100,000 RMB to 250,000 RMB annually. In contrast, traditional industries like agriculture and textiles have lower average salaries, especially in provinces like Sichuan and Anhui. Workers in these sectors may earn around 5,000 to 8,000 RMB per month, reflecting the regional economic disparities in China. Hmm. Minimum wage. 
The minimum wage in China varies by region, with the highest minimum wage typically found in more developed areas such as Beijing and Shanghai. As of 2024, the minimum wage in Beijing is 2,420 CNY per month, while in Shanghai it stands at 2,000. 480 CNY. Conclusion. In conclusion, the average salary trends in China for 2024 indicate a positive traje- trajectory with a steady growth across various sectors. Indicate. It indicate a positive trajectory. 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 Positive trajectory. With a steady growth across various sectors, in conclusion, the average salary trends in China for 2024 indicate a positive trajectory. Trajectory with a steady growth across various sectors. Regional differences play a significant role in determining salaries. With cities like Beijing and Shanghai. Offering higher wages compared to smaller cities and rural areas, the cost of living must also be taken into consideration、uh, when analyzing salaries, as it varies greatly depending on the region. Different industries in China offer varying salary ranges, with the technology and finance sectors generally paying. Higher compared to manufacturing and agriculture, it is important for job seekers to consider these factors when looking for employment opportunities in China. The minimum wage provides a baseline for workers' rights and serves as a benchmark for fair co- compensation. For fair compensation. Serves as a benchmark. Serves as a benchmark. Serves as a benchmark. Overall, understanding the average salary trends, regional variations, common industries, and minimum wage regulations in China is crucial for both employers and employees. By staying informed and adapting to these trends. In、individuals can make informed decisions regarding their careers and financial well-being in the rapid evolving Chinese job market. If you liked the article、uh, and are more interested in salary information, compensation and benefits packages, benefits packages,、uh, talent trends, and more. Check out our salary platform for free. Okay, so what is a benefits packages, right? Not benefit packages, but benefits package. The package holds a lot of benefits. So here, benefits becomes an object, not a, a noun a adjective, right? So it's a benefits packages. If you liked the article and are more interested in salary information, compensation and benefits packages, talent, talent trends, talent trends, talent trends, talent trends, and more, check out our salary flap a、uh, platform for free. So from this article, we learned that、uh, the salaries、uh, are. Higher with the technology and the finance sector, and the lowest with agriculture and textile. That's the、uh, trend worldwide. And the minimum wage is like uh, uh, how much was it? Minimum wage in China is like、uh, Beijing. It depends on the region, but two thousand four hundred eighty CNY. That's about sash palmanon, right? Four hundred eighty thousand won. That's too low.、Uh, so in Korea, the average salary, minimum salary, is like a two point five, two point seven. 
So com by comparison, Korea's minimum wage is five to uh, seven times more. Uh, on average, maybe six times more. So I think if we are uh, rich or affluent by five times uh, uh, affluent as Chinese are, so I'm proud of it. But hey, think about Japan and the USA and uh, Europe. They get paid a lot of money. So uh, there's a huge economic disparity between countries, between the uh, global regions. Uh, but before I go, uh, there are several sentences, words that I want to uh, remember. Uh, one is serve as a serves, it serves uh, as a benchmark. It indicates a strong positive trajectory for overall growth across various sectors, strong growth across uh, various sectors, uh, benchmark, minimum wage, affluent, rich, trajectory, positive trajectory, indicate, right, indicates. Well, that's just about it. Have a wonderful Monday wherever you are and uh, please subscribe and uh, like my, don't like my video, but you can subscribe to my channel uh, I have three channels. Uh, soon, uh, this channel will be just English reading uh, only. Uh, other articles, other channels would be uh, China Chinese reading and uh, personal po uh, potpourri assortments of this and that. Uh, thanks for listening. Have a wonderful September 2nd. Bye-bye. Uh, by the way, uh, we have a big bonus uh, this month, uh, coming around the 25th, and uh, we have a Chuseok holiday. There's Zhongqiu Jie in Chinese, or uh, Lunar Moon Harvest uh, Festival. Yes, we have fe uh, Harvest Festival coming earlier than American Thanksgiving Day or Canadian Thanksgiving Day. Bye-bye.